Hi guys, welcome to another Fusion 360 tutorial from Max3D Design and today we're gonna make storage box for our 3D printer nozzles. Okay, let's get started. So I'm gonna create a sketch on XY plane. We will need to create center rectangle approximately 60 by 120 millimeters and then I hit OK. Now we press finish sketch then we will need to extrude our sketch 1,5 millimeters and operation we will have to choose new component then i hit ok we're gonna rename component straight away and we're gonna call it box because we're gonna have two components one of them will be lid and another one the actual box so now we have to create the walls and compartments i'm gonna choose top face of my component and press create sketch there are many ways how to create walls. We can do it with pattern function, but we'll try to keep it as simple as possible. So let's create two point rectangle. Then we will have to offset this rectangle with letter O, let's say 1.5 millimeters. Then I'm gonna create center rectangle in the middle, 50 millimeters long and 1.5 millimeters wide. I'm gonna press enter. Then we will have to create line. We have to tick construction and from the center of the origin draw construction line. We will need this line to have a midpoint reference. Now we need to create one more center rectangle directly on this line. We have to uncheck construction in our sketch palette options menu. We have to make sure that our sketch touching the shortest wall. Then I'm gonna press 1.5 millimeters again and hit enter. And I'm gonna create one more center rectangle. Make sure it hit our walls and choose 1.5 millimeters wide. And then I hit enter again. Now we have to trim all the lines that blocking us from complete sketch. For that, I'm gonna zoom in and choose trim from the menu or I press letter T to trim unwanted sketch. Now when we're happy we can mirror our sketch on the other side. For that we need to draw construction line from the center 90 degrees down. I hit escape to exit line command. Then all what we have to do is select sketch we want to mirror. Choose mirror from the menu. Mirror line will be our construction line. And now we have the same sketch on the other side. I will trim again all the unwanted parts, letter T. And when I'm happy, I'm just simply click finish sketch. So now we have to extrude our walls approximately 20 millimeters. And then I hit OK. So basically our compartments ready. Now we need to make a lid. For that, we need to create a sketch on top of our compartments face. And then we are simply gonna draw another rectangle. I click finish sketch. Now we need to extrude to create a lid. I will create it 1.5 millimeters high and choose new component and I hit OK. So now we are almost ready. All what we have to do is just create a hinge and the lock so that it won't open by itself. So let's create a hinge. For that I will have to create sketch I will have to create construction line two and a half millimeters away from my box then I need to untick construction and hit letter C or choose circle and make 1.5 millimeter circle I hit enter I make one more circle around approximately three millimeters and I hit enter again now I choose line and I draw a line from circle to my box. Then I will draw one more line. Now we need to draw a line from lid to the box that will help us to open and close the box. We need to close our sketch. Now we need to make our lines tangent to the circle. So I choose my line and I choose the circle. 
I can readjust a sketch a little bit according to my needs and then when I'm happy I just simply click finish sketch. So now we have our hinge sketch, let's extrude it. So I'm gonna choose extrude, then I will choose these two parts of my sketch. I will extrude it, I will extrude it in minus 10 millimeters. Then I hit OK. We have to reactivate our sketch and we have to choose the same for our lid. So we're gonna choose this part and this part. So I hit extrude, choose my parts which I want to be extruded. And I'm gonna extrude negative 10 millimeters with the offset negative 11 millimeters. The tolerance looks a little bit too big, so we're gonna change it to 10,5 millimeters. Let's make it 10,3. Each printer is different. I'm gonna print with 4 millimeter nozzle. And then I hit OK. Now we have to repeat the same process one more time, but for the box component. So I'm gonna hit extrude. I'm gonna choose these two profiles. Then I'm gonna extrude minus 10 millimeters with the offset plane minus 20,6 and that's how it's going to look like and I simply hit OK. To do that on the other side all what we have to do is choose mirror from create drop down menu then we have to on our origin with the eye next to origin we have to choose our type futures we will choose here in the bottom our last three extruded futures then mirror plane will be our plane if we cannot select we can always hide our components then choose plane show our components again and simply hit ok so now let's create a lock that will keep our box closed for that we will need to create sketch on this face i will choose rectangle center rectangle and I will make 5 by 12 millimeters long square. I hit enter, I will draw one more line and I will trim unwanted sketches. Then I press finish sketch and then all what we have to do is extrude our sketch one and a half millimeters. Operation join and make sure we hide our box so that it won't join with our box. And I hit OK. We can rename our second component. We're gonna call it lid. So now we need to make our lock. For that, all what we have to do is create a sketch on this face. I choose two point rectangle and I drag approximately half of my face. And then I press finish sketch. Then all what we have to do is extrude this face let's say one millimeter long and then i hit ok now from modify drop down menu i'm gonna choose chamfer and i'm gonna choose this line and i will make it smooth let's say 1.2 millimeters will be enough and then i hit ok then i'm gonna turn my box back on i'm gonna combine target body will be my box tool bodies will be my lid i'm gonna keep the tools and then I hit OK. So now when we remove lid, we see that we have small cut out from our lid. I will have to create a sketch on this face. I will create a rectangle, center rectangle. And I will make it a little bit bigger so that we have tolerance for our lock. I think this will be enough. Then I press finish sketch. Now we extrude this rectangle on the other side and then I press OK. Now we can make a little bit of tolerance between the box and the lid. For that I'm gonna hide my lid. I'm gonna click extrude. I will choose profile of my compartments. I will put the lid back on and I will extrude it let's say 0.2 millimeters. I will choose cut and then I hit OK. Now, as you can see, we have a cutout in our lid. Now we're gonna choose extrude. We're gonna choose our cubes. 
and we're going to extrude them two millimeters more then we will have to select each edge and make it more smooth for that i'm going to choose chamfer and i will select each edge of my cube so now when everything is selected we can make 1.5 millimeters smooth chamfer and hit ok now all what we have to do is put our numbers on each square so i'm gonna start by creating a sketch on this face from create drop down menu i'm choosing text i'm defining my text area then i type 0.2 i choose bold align center align middle and i hit ok and then i hit finish sketch then i'm gonna repeat that one more time i'm gonna choose face create drop down menu text assign text area 0.3 bold align center and align middle then i hit ok and i continue that with all my other cubes finish sketch i'm not a big fan of used nozzles but just for fun we're gonna put word used in one of our box compartments and we need to choose the height of the text six looks good and i hit ok so now when we finish with all our sketches we have to extrude them i hit extrude i choose all the numbers and let's say two and a half millimeters is enough You can play with the angles if you want, but let's leave it zero degrees. And then I hit OK. Now we have our numbers. Let's apply some fillets. So we need to apply in this and this edge. Five millimeters. I hit OK. Then we can apply one millimeter fillet for our lid. 0.5 for the lock basically our lid is ready in the box we can also apply some fillets but of course it's up to you and then i hit ok so basically our model ready let's have a look what's happening inside so for that we choose inspect and we choose section analysis we choose face from where we want to have our section analysis and then we can basically see what's happening inside i see good tolerance between the box and the lid the only thing i don't like is the tolerance right here in this area so i'm gonna click ok i'm gonna uncheck my box i'm gonna choose this face extrude let's say half millimeter in the other direction so i put minus then i hit ok let's see how it looks now much better okay now when the box is ready we can apply some joints for that we will have to choose assemble as built joint Component will be our lid and component will be our box. So we're gonna have joint type revolute And I'm not gonna choose this axis And then I simply hit ok So now in our joints We're gonna right click and choose edit joint limits so we're gonna have minimum and maximum so let's say maximum will be 195 degrees and i'm happy with that let's animate great then i simply hit ok now when we want to move our lid open or close we double click on this flag and we simply moving it of course we can do some painting and so on for the rendering but since we use 3d printer it's not very useful all what we have to do now is just file 3d print choose a lid 
choose our printer Cura and hit OK. So that's our lid in Cura, of course we will rotate it. And with 0.4 nozzle, standard settings, it will take 3 hours for the lid and 4.5 hours for the box. Continue watching video if you want to see the printing results. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and have a great print. So I use simple paper clip here for the hinges. I could make it print in place, but I prefer metal instead of plastic inside. So that's how it looks like. And then to close, you just need to close like simple box.